My name is Faris Ramli. This is my stage. And this is my passion. Hi, my name is Faris Ramli. I'm 22 this year and I've been playing soccer since I was 13. I joined Lions in 2013 and my current position is a winger or striker. For now, I'm training for the Malaysian Super League. Okay, generally his strength is his speed. His dribbling skills are fantastic. I think uh, for me and all the fans, we enjoy when he comes in in the second half to open up defense and he needs to look up more because sometimes when you're dribbling, he tend to uh, look downwards. So he needs to open up and look up and look for passes. But his dribbling skill is fantastic and not many players we have who has that ability. So I thought he got a special talent there. And also, I think he needs to take responsibility, not only crossing the ball, passing, but also scoring. He tends to give up the ball to others, which I think uh, he needs to grow with that because he needs that, uh, what you call that, confidence in scoring and taking responsibility uh, when he has the opportunity to score goals. Generally, he has very good potential for the future. Uh, he's very young and, and I think he will be a great asset the next three, four years for the national team. But only if he works hard and very serious about the game. Because now he's enjoying, but he doesn't realize it's a responsibility. When you start playing more, the responsibility comes. He's hard working, uh, but I think he's, he needs to speak up more uh, because he tends to keep himself quiet at, at times. Uh. He's full of tricks, uh, but I think he's, he's capable of beating any defenders. Uh. Uh, he's uh, one who likes to dribble a lot, which is can be a good thing and a bad thing, uh, but for his team, I think it's good because he likes to attract defenders. So defenders will uh, make space for other people. So I mean, he's useful by dribbling a lot. So he attract defenders and if uh, he assists in the right mid. Yeah. I think I must be agree with him. Uh. I think Faris is a life wire in the team, especially on the right or on the left wing. And he commit and he is very committed. Uh. Once he loses the ball, he will chase it back. And I think as a person, he is a very cheerful person and a very uh, good teammate and a very nice teammate. Uh. He's a good team player and he's, uh, he works well with the team. Lah. So uh, that's uh, one of the aspects uh, for our team and definitely lah, yeah, he's well liked by the team also. Um, last time I used to be a, a tracker, track and field. Um, runner and my late brother um, he always like you know when he came back from work he asked me and my brothers to come down to the void deck and play soccer so he, te he teaches us a lot I mean like how to curl the ball how to shoot the ball and you know since when he's gone um, I was sec one that year and that really inspired me like you know to continue maybe it, it's his dream to play soccer yeah, uh, in the first place, it was hard because it's a change of direction for me. Um, from a tracker, you know, from running and suddenly change to a soccer player. Um, you need to start the basic, you know, from juggle, juggling the ball, dribbling the ball, you know, the technique, you must be there. So, um, it's quite hard for me uh, and uh, I take it slow. Sometimes when I come back early, get the ball and go to under void deck and juggle myself, shoot myself. Um, basically like practice myself uh, about soccer uh, and whenever I try to you know when juggle the ball until 50 sometimes and I didn't manage to do that and I will always relate to my late brother so uh, that's how I learned my soccer um, for me it's almost impossible uh, in the early days to juggle NS and soccer at the same time but due to my supportive superior um, you know, they let me to um, book out early to go for training sometimes and I, I used to go back and change my home clothes um, and take my soccer things and go to training. So 
it's a bit of tiring. Uh. Last time, uh, for me, I need to sacrifice, you know, the time being with my family and friends, um, and also some uh, is because of studies because it's too many commitment for me, uh, and uh, soccer is one of my commitment last time, and I need to juggle all three of them at the same time, so it's quite uh, frustrating, but. Uh, nonetheless, I think I didn't regret any of it. This, uh, when he come back from training, he will clear all his, his things first, like his boots, his shoes, everything, you know. Though, though he's uh, quite very very tight schedule, uh, NS, he's an NS man, and he's uh, now involved with the football. But he will clear everything neatly. Even his rooms also, he will not burden his mother. Yes, I'm proud of him also. He's now is a, a, a national team player, but you know he was offered that probably last time, two years back, during when he was still attending from uh, Poly. He's getting his diploma. So he was not very rushing. He asked our opinion, the parents, whether they should join uh, Lion 12 teams or he got to finish his diploma. We discussed about it and then he came up with a, to get the diploma first. So, so he's very well planned ahead and I advise him, you get a, you're going to make the right choice. But he did it. So, Later, when he finished his diploma, he achieved his diploma, then he start doing the NS. There you are. Now, I'm quite proud also. Uh, we share his happiness that he's now being selected as a, one of the national team for B, so he maybe can serve, one of the players can serve the national team. His achievement is his career. He went up to Barcelona, he got a Nike chance offered, uh, you know, kind of things. Uh, he's, he's probably talented on that game, right? When we're talking about his achievement, probably I would say he's uh, talented since childhood time when he was encouraged by my other sons, his elder brother. Pada saya, uh, Faris, uh, dia apa? Dia dah habiskan dia punya ni kan, dia boleh kira dia dah boleh uh, bahagi masa dia antara sekolah dengan uh, sukan kan. Jadi saya tak saya tak kenakan dia apa-apa ni. Dia so as long dia happy, dia dia apa dia boleh bawa ni benda berdua ni kan, boleh sama-sama uh, antara pelajaran dan ini saya sokong dia daripada belakang. Firstly, I would like to congr uh, congratulate him for his career in football and besides being a good brother to me, I would like to wish him all the best in his uh, future upcoming games because uh, he's quite a talented uh, and he's really quite talented player for me lah. and one of the best in Singapore and I hope he will strive all the way not to give up and also lastly just good luck to him. My well wishes for Faris. First and foremost, uh, do what you do best, which is your soccer. Because I think he has such a great ability and skills, which most of the people adore him outside. And even they want to be like him one day. So with that, I wish him all the best for his future endeavors. Uh, first and foremost, I'd like to congratulate Faris on his soccer career and for being a good brother to me. He inspires me a lot, and one day, if it if it is possible, I would like to become someone like him. What I really think about him is that he really cares a lot. For, he really cares a lot for me, and also for the rest of my family members. I would like to wish him all the best in his soccer career, and good luck in dribbling past all of the other defenders all the other soccer players. 
and all the best. Okay, Faris, uh, keep doing what you're doing. Uh, I'm very proud of you that uh, you made it all the way up to where you are now. And, uh, you know, the road is still uh, very, the future is still uh, promising to you. So, all the best. As his only sister-in-law for now, I'd like to um, congratulate him for all his achievements so far. Continue doing us proud. Um, and one of the thing, things about him is that he's very humble. I hope uh, we all hope he stays that way. Uh, and just continue to do us proud. Uh. And I hope that uh, he will be a great uh, player and a great star for our Singapore team. And and just I want just. I just want him to score goals because he is lacking in scoring goals. Other than that, he's doing a good job for us. Okay, I think he's got a bright future ahead. Uh. I think if in another two or three years' time, where uh, he can probably be in the first team, line up for national team. But I think now he's currently serving his NS. I think it's, it's a distraction or disrupt. Uh. But I think hopefully in, in times to come, he'll be the top. Semoga dia dapat uh, mengharumkan nama negara uh, dan saya proud of him. Okay. All of us share with the Lion 12 teams, including Faris. I would say football is not a one-man show, it's a team work. So we're proud he's part of the national team. So wish him best in the future. All the best, Chayo! Dream big. Have faith. And keep believing.